Hi, I'm Mick Jessup. I'm the designer of the ISO King range. Uh, I'm here today to do an uh, assembly of the entertainment unit. So we'll start with the base. Everything's made out of 18mm uh, birch plywood. All the plywood uh, we put a clear coat on. Um, and the process for that is in our spray booth we put two coats uh, on the sheets. We pre-sand the sheets and then we put two coats on them. Um, and then uh, after they've been machined, we do some finishing, uh, especially on the edges, uh, and then apply a final coat. Um, so this is the base, it's nice and strong, um, and it's got the tenons that hold the bottom piece. So they slot in. We use tolerances of around 0.1, 0.2 of a mil. Um, we have found uh, that uh, having a good tight tolerance is really good for the, for the structure of it. So this unit has two pieces of 18mm uh, on the base, which gives it ballast, like it, it makes it nice and heavy and strong at the base, so it makes it quite strong. Uh, we put on uh, one face. It just slots in for pounds on the side. Now we've got the internal divider. You can see gravity does a lot of the work um, in holding it together at this stage. So this is the top piece. So it comes in on the central divider and slots in with some tenons up the top here. Now once that piece is on, we can put on the rear. Again, in these tenons. Which comes together nicely. You've got, Mick, there's quite a lot of um, different types of connections and joins going on here. That's, um, is that a culmination of other Isa King products, things you've learnt along the way? Like, because it seems yeah. like there's lots of different systems there. Yeah, a lot of these slots, these, these lap joins that we use are, are common across uh, all of the products, as is the, the tenon joins that you've seen that, that, that um, drop into each other. Um, but it all comes down to how they're used. Um, so one of the challenges that we had in designing this whole ISO King uh, Florence range was to create a, a, a sturdy piece of home furniture that didn't look like it was slotted together. And so I found that the best way to do that was to introduce the curves because a lot of slot together furniture, it just it needs a right angle. Yeah, right. So to break away from that right angle, I, I introduced these curves, which uh, you'll see how they come together with these sides. It's kind of a double win I guess with the curves because um, curves work so beautifully with timber right because you know timber trees by nature are not straight lines. That's exactly right. So it kind of plays into the natural shape. Okay. So we've got cable uh, <coughs> holes in this unit, being, being an entertainment unit, it's going to sit in the living room, your TV will be on it or will be above it, you might want to have uh, an amplifier or, or some technical equipment inside it, so we've put in cable holes, um, nice big wide ones so that you can get uh, your, your plugs through. Um, and then once the front and the back um, the doors are in, we can just connect them all together. Now while, like these soldiers, we call these uh, these pieces soldiers here at ISO King, um, they slot in and essentially hold the whole thing together. Um, because the, this is a, sa a sandwich is created between the front and the back of the tenon joints, and it's these soldiers that lock it all together. Um, I should note as well that it's been designed so that the draw, the, the, the cupboard doors can be put on either side 
left or right, depending on how you want to set it up in your home. And you can see again, gravity is doing a lot of the work to hold these soldiers in. With the, with the design of it, how did you, uh, how, what, how does you work as a design process? Like, do you draw stuff on paper? Do you draw it on the computer? Like, um, I do it all on the computer. I use a program called Vectorworks. Um, but with these type of things, I generally start with a, with a shape, with a, with a block model. Um, and then take that model, start to pull it apart. Once happy with the form, um, then start to pull that apart to come up with the different components that will be used to, to build it all. So this, for example, how m this final product, how much of this final design was already clear in your head before you started drawing on the computer? Uh, I had the shape. I, ha I had the, the idea for these edges yeah. um, and how they would work with these, with these soldiers. Um, and then it was from that shape that you know, everything has to be um, sort of basically built from the ground up. Because you know, you've got to balance aesthetics with a practical design, right? The work yeah. is strong. And, and, and because there's no fixings, it, it needs to be designed so that it can still be strong without being you know, glued, glued and screwed together. Yeah. The white paint that we use is the, the same as the clear coat, it's a water-based polyurethane. Um, it's with a white um, pigment. It's a beautiful finish. We find that with the white and black finishes we do on our furniture, um, you, it gives a very strong, very durable finish, but you do also still get the wood grain through the, through the paint, so you still get that timber texture, which is really nice. And you spray it, right, rather than it's all sprayed on, yeah. And then clean a The final piece just drops in the top, and there we have it. Florence Entertainment Unit. <laughs>